in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys why i am currently being extra right now and using two lotions at a time on my body my channel if you're new my name is Dika aka D Coco and I film videos like this on skincare videos DIY skincare content and also lifestyle content so do well to stay with us please subscribe if you're not and make sure to click the bell button so you're constantly notified every time that I post a video and if you're a returning subscriber hey my darling how are you thank you for tuning in today without further ado I wanted to share with you guys what I am currently doing on my skin that is giving me all the results all the glow and everything Thing. so I'm going to be sharing the lotions that I'm currently using on my body with you guys and also why I'm using two lotions at a time currently for my skin so that you get the gist not so long ago I saw on YouTube um, there's this girl that also does skincare content I will see if I can find her again and then I saw that she also does the same like using two lotions on her skin and I was thinking I was the only one that does this so I was like yeah it's a good thing to actually share with my subscribers as well as to why I am doing this and why you should also maybe a relate this in your skincare regimen to also see better results like I am experiencing at the moment so these are the two lotions that I am currently using on my skin and the first one is the topic Rep Miller lightning ultra moisturizing meal and the other one is dove nourishing secret and it is their invigorating ritual body lotion with avocado oil and calendula extract so yeah these are the two lotions that I am currently using in the daytime and also at night I use this 12% um, Relax Day AHA Exfoliating Body Lotion and it is from the brand called Eleven Village Factory. I think I mentioned this in one of my videos and also still with the Dove Nourishing Body Lotion. And now I'm going to review these lotions and then tell you why I use a specific one at a specific time and why I am combining um, two lotions at a time during the day and also during the night time. So now when it comes to our body, we don't really do much for our skin on our body. We just use lotions and then up we go. But if you're trying to be more intentional about your skin, then you would study your skin to see what your skin needs. Then you would then know how to follow up your skin. That is why I always say on this channel that skincare is not a one size fit all. You would need to know what your specific needs are for your skin just so you don't spend too much money um, getting all the skincare products out there in the market and also so that you can cater to your skin need without you know just jam packing yourself with too many products at a time so it's definitely going to save you time and money if you can identify what your needs are what your problems are what your concerns are so that you can better handle your situation at any given time i've spoken about this topic cream lotion before on this channel when i recommended skin brightening lotions for the skin this lotion is a very good one for the skin and i am going to do a mini review for this lotion and also for the other ones that are here as well so for the topic cream one that i'm currently using during the daytime this is a lotion that contains um, glycerin that's a very um, skin moisturizing ingredient and also contains um, sunscreen as well but it is not specified how much sunscreen this lotion has and it says that it lightens and unifies the complexion prevents the appearance of dark spots and moisturizes skin for 24 hours okay so i'm going to tell you why i combined this lotion with the dove nourishing secret lotion now the top of them lotion is good it does um, brighten your skin tone that is why i recommended it in that video but um the texture of it is where i found the problem so while it does the job for you it has done so well for me in this summer months because it is a lightweight lotion that absorbs into your skin a lot quickly but what i did find about this lotion is that it um dries into your skin too quick and as much as it is still doing the job of keeping your skin moisturized and protected um it dries down a little too quick for me and then your skin tends to stay dry for a longer period of time so so if you are someone with very dry skin then you cannot use this lotion on its own so this lotion for its skin brightening properties I do love it for that and the way it feels on the skin and the fact that it has sunscreen and sunscreen is not something that we necessarily apply on our body all the time so a cream like this that has sunscreen is good but yeah just for the skin drying um, part of it that is what I don't enjoy about this lotion that is where the Dove nourishing secret invigorating ritual body lotion 
comes into play now this lotion is highly hydrating for the skin it keeps you hydrated for longer hours i've always just loved dove products apart from the fact that it has this mild very mild and sweet scent i also have their pampering ritual something body lotion and i also have this one so i've already finished with that one hence why i'm currently using this but with dove i always just go for any um flavor that smells nice to me because it always just works like dove body lotion always just works and this one says that it is for all skin types and says to hydrate and moisturize your skin for how many hours does it say here okay it doesn't say how long it moisturizes and hydrates your skin for but using this lotion it does moisturize my skin for a longer period of time and it keeps my skin looking glowy now if you moisturize with this lotion your skin looks glowy but because of the drying and a little bit of a mattifying effect that it has it doesn't give your skin that full potential of glow you know or full glow potential you get what I mean so this is where this one then comes in handy to support this one so basically this has the properties that I need in a lotion, but this has the hydration and moisturizing properties that I need in a lotion. So this does the skin brightening effect and protection with sunscreen, and this does the hydration effect. So using these two lotions together during the day just works so well for my skin in evening out my skin tone, and that is what I am currently using. So for those of you that have been asking, Deacon, please, what do you use on your body during the daytime? These are the two things that I am currently using that works so well in keeping my skin moisturized and hydrated. So moving on to nighttime, I recently waxed my skin for the very first time in my life, my entire body, and it was a sweet experience. Like I had never felt my skin feeling so smooth, so fresh, so supple, so touchable. I mean, I realized that since I have sensitive skin because I am just generally sensitive, I don't know why. So I decided to get an exfoliating lotion before things spike up already. So when I waxed my skin, I did feel like my skin was going to be a little bit irritated or a lot irritated I wasn't sure and I knew that I needed some exfoliating lotion of some sort in case my pores spike up and then maybe I start getting strawberry skin because I know that or I perceive that that could be something that I would experience with waxing so I went on ahead to get this 11 village factory so yeah it's more like I got this particular lotion for prevention purposes because I already expected that something might be up very soon so I'm currently using this at night to um, prevent strawberry skin from coming up in the first place and then I still pair it with the dog body lotion because this one is highly hydrating for the skin this one does hydrate the skin too but it is more the consistency of this lotion is very simple and straight to the point so I feel like this particular lotion is for the sole purpose of just exfoliating your skin and we know that exfoliating ingredients can tend to be drying on the skin that is why I am supporting this lotion with the Dove Nourishing Secret Lotion just so I can still top up the hydration on my skin every night as I go to bed now I use this AHA lotion at night because there is no sun to interrupt what I am trying to do on my skin the exfoliation process and then during the day as I'm using the topic cream one that I spoke to you guys about that has um, sunscreen as well I still support it with a little bit more of sunscreen on my body as I support it with this lotion so it feels like a lot but this is where knowing your skin and what it needs at a certain time so that you know exactly what you're doing it feels like a lot but honestly this is what my skin needs as at this moment and then i'm thinking that in the winter months because we're slowly transitioning into the winter months i'm going to be substituting this lotion for another lotion and then i'm going to be sharing it with you guys so that you guys know what i am up to and then share my results as well but i still think i will still be accompanying any lotion that i use on my skin with the dove nourishing secret lotion because it just works well in keeping my skin hydrated so if you're trying to even out your skin like i shared in my video then you might want to look into using a lotion that brightens your skin and also hydrates your skin as at the same time because sometimes one lotion does not have exactly everything that your skin needs so that is why you need to know your products your skin so that you know what you're doing for your skin at a certain time so this video was not intended to be too long it was just me sharing my current lotion routine with you guys so that you get what i am currently doing and then apart from using these lotions of course i do use my beauty oil which is the golden glow oil from podganics and also sunscreen on my skin during the day so yeah this is what i am currently doing and i wanted to share with you guys in the 
quick video if you do have any question about this topic please drop it in the comment section and i'll do well to answer and if you have any comment for us or you just want me to know that you were here then drop some love hearts in the comment section and i will do well to reply thank you so much for watching this video today i do hope this was useful and this does not feel like much of a hassle to you if you feel like this is a route that you might want to take for your skin depending on how your skin is feeling or what you feel your skin needs at the moment then definitely go for it but if you feel like one lotion is enough for you just what you want to use at the moment then that's totally fine as well this video is in no way to coerce you into using more than one lotion at a time if you do not need it if you feel like you have special needs for your skin then definitely you can get into using more than one lotion because it does not cause any harm to your skin and yes also the video that i spoke about evening out your skin tone from head to toe without bleaching you will definitely see that routines like this come in handy in evening out your skin tone because you could use like this AHA lotion in places that are discolored and then you could use this lotion to um, like brighten your skin in other areas while you're working on one area with this other one. So apart from the fact that I generally would use this on every part of my body, on every other day that I am not using this on every part of my body, I am using it to exfoliate certain areas that I need to repair or work on um, fixing discoloration in that area. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you're not subscribed by now please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and please thumbs up this video because it goes a long way in helping my channel grow and i definitely will see you guys in my next one and as usual i wish you guys the perfect beautiful and luscious skin Mwah.